called Sarah Aporo. I love to refer to myself as an HIV activist. This started way back in 2017. Besides that, I work at Macquarie University Business School. I work as an administrator in the office of the deputy principal. In 2017, it was uh, January, it was the uh, 1st of January that I tested positive for HIV and that led me to the journey of activism. I, I usually tell people if I'd never tested positive, I would never be an HIV activist. But when you, when you get to experience something, you get to learn more, you get to know that there's so much information that is not known outside there. So using my story, reaching out to vulnerable people, reaching out to HIV positive people, it became a passion. Uh, the day I tested positive was, it was a mind blowing day. <laughs> I had so much running through my mind. Uh, the last thing I thought about was death, because at least I had some prior information about what it means to live with HIV. But the fact that it's now you living with it, it's, it's quite different. So to me it was, okay, taking drugs for the rest of my life, so much has to change about my life. It was quite a traumatizing moment. Uh, it, it was a difficult moment to accept that this is going to be your life for the many, many years that you're going to live. By the time you, you come back to taking your drugs, it becomes resistant. You know, there are various ways people get HIV. Some get raped, some um, husbands bring, wives bring, uh, some through sharing uh, sharp equipment with people that are positive. But to me, I was certain of where I could have got the HIV from. That was from my boyfriend. So after I got to know my status, we went and tested and I realized he's positive. So I was very certain it was my boyfriend. And he didn't deny the fact that he, he must have been the one that gave it to me. We have a high prevalence of HIV in the islands. That is a clear manifestation that really there are many people having unprotected sex. Not even necessarily by prostitutes, but husband and, and wife. They are also, they are also you know, very many. But it also goes back to the, the working environment. A fisherman uh, considers the lake to be more risky than, than HIV. Because he is seeing people who have lived with HIV for over 20 years. But every the other month, he gets examples of people who have drowned yeah, and few have survived. So he's more worried of the lake. In fact, it's easier for that person to put on a life jacket yeah, while seated in a boat than to, put, than to put on a condom. So there is a mindset. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has to be mindset change so that really the people look at you know the costs that come with, with this. Yes, you may survive there, but also living with, 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 the, with the HIV, where there are no health facilities, probably even the children you produce will keep getting it because there are no health facilities. The okay. Was a Katimia Kajidinga Munana, Ali Kudagala. Nines of Ruin and the owner Sikolachi Sikalina. Catuaro was the winter local sanga. Medeo Mukwan, no more to call the second room. I tell you, Nata Kitanata Kolachi, Nata Sikiriza. Ere chunja kwa kubiri ndo rumba muna muna kama wakubwa muna da kufunene mo kanzoringi.
ngafa abasawa abakole eno kubizinga eh okusomoze wako tsanga ti eddagali lwao tutukako kuri wa abantu na abantu abamu baba wala katika kusonga ya kauka abantu bana abasinga okufuna eddagala lyabwe kibazibu walira ti engendo ze batambula ziba nnyingi okutuka ziba nnene okutuka wano kudwalilo babera abazodi funira ne wesango omuntu ayosezza olunaku laba dayino kolachi ochimira mu ddagala ba key priority populations we tuba tuba reaching the out tuba wa eddagala libaita prep prep oyo a tumugamba alikozese ha entire life so long as a mind to muntu gwe yegatta naye muradde then ne pep oyo muntu aba obaka tuba tugeze bana ba raping dwai wajanga omuntu gwaba dena yi tamweka kasa oba tumukebe denga ali ali hiv positive omuntu etumwa prep then bana interventions endala tuba wa condoms tuba wa tuba wa health education talks tuba take more kids and obulamu obo bubo ate silimu tawona ate silimu wali so the message I have for boyfriends and girlfriends and those who are relating sexually is one, be faithful to your partner because you're putting the life of your partner at a risk by moving out there and having sex with several other partners that you may be having. Then uh, ensure that you disclose your status. At this stage, I disclose my status to each and every one. Test, 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 test so that you're sure of your status. Tokens of life to bad de to agala webe so bulu to kolera yoko amasomero ga vocations vocation and skilling kubuvuma kuno kuba kangambe matini nyo oba uchizinga oyinza no butasanga ko nelimu ate biskale bali ku main nti osanga kuliko there is one 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 school ate it's also ababababaze bababagala only the girl child. So singa tokens of life a journey involving am ne male child. Na manya chicha ino kola chicha tate kweda kola kumwala. She when and what? Chiba chukola. I like to call upon funders. I like to call upon you know people who can reach out to lens foundation who can reach out to tokens of life there is so much we are doing to ensure that lives out there are changed to ensure that stories reach out so we call upon people to join up to team up with us to sponsor our activities to fund our activities we can change lives if we team up and make lives better